Hello everyone, and welcome to this unboxing video for Munchkin Shakespeare's extra stuff from the Kickstarter. Uh, so I've got uh, various things here, including some card packs, uh, another kilometer with some other cards, cards, some figures, and a few other things. Uh, first off, another coloring book like there was in the uh, limited engagement. So just that quick out of the way. Okay, um, first we're going to start off with Shakespeare Drama Dice. It's a six dice pack and also has a bunch of cards. I don't know if these are blank or not. Looks like it says just four cards. Let's see here. This is a little bit tougher than I thought. There we go. I know why it is, because I'm trying to rip into a flat surface. Usually there's some gap somewhere for me to rip into. Ah, more ribbage. Game designed by, and this is just too torn up to read. Uh, the dice are, by the way, I thought they were black and white. They are the one from the bot, oh, from the deluxe game, and then a reverse colored version. So again, the bronze with white pips, and then white with bronze pips. It might be copper. Then we got this four card thing. We've got, well, first off, there's the card that I can see right now on the front. I'm, uh, Telehawk from a handsaw. I love Shakespeare. I don't know all the references. Uh, Ill Rotten Egg. Angry Egg, level one monster. Um, Darling Buds of May. It's a plus one to six bonus. I, I need to take a moment to read this. Uh... Oh, okay, that's interesting. Um, roll uh, one of the drama dice, pretty much any die, uh, a d6, and then add this to either side, add the result to either side. If you roll a 6, discard it after combat. And, oh my dung cats. Huh. Cool. Next up, we've got... We'll go with kilometer actually. Another kilometer. Looks like a alternate artist. I think this might be the artist from least I can do. Yep, that's definitely. I don't remember his name, but yeah. I I, I think that's similar art for me. Regardless, let's get this open. Take a good look at it. Generic strong character. Terror. Poorly. So it's got, yeah. Shakespeare on both sides, then one of the many kings, and what looks like a queen. They try to be very gender balanced, I've noticed, with this game, which is a good thing. A lot of stuff either has just as much of one gender or the other, or, um, but then again, it's Shakespeare, so, yeah, representing genders, hmm, back in those days, everybody was a guy, including in Twelfth Night, where you had a guy playing a woman who was cross-dressing as a guy. Ah, uh, to thy own self be true, never, uh, never did run smooth. What piece of work is you? And, uh, Prospero's Magic Book. So, just a quick look at Cool. Another kilo the second kilometer is always nice. Um, honestly, I don't really see much of the point in one. Like, a single one. Uh, then we've got two packets of figures. I'm not going to waste your time opening these. We've got female and, or female and male. Um, all various colors. So, instead of the black and white ones from the limited engagement. Then we have what appear to be Munchkin Dungeon blank cards, because it says Munchkin blank card. Yeah, contains four dungeons, four treasures, and two. Yeah, two dungeons, two treasures. Always nice, but again, as I said in a previous video, I 
never played Munchkin Dungeon. I want to, but... Okay. Oh, okay, it's also two blank cards for Munchkin Dungeon, and then two, and then a set of treasure cards and door cards that are blank for each. That's nice. Um, and then last up, we have the mini expansion Stage Demo. 17 cards for Munchkin Shakespeare. And, yeah. <laughs> it looks like it's intended to be a expansion like a lot of the booster packs are, or booster pack-like expansions, where it's a small expansion to be added into other games. It's not an expansion onto itself for Munchkin Shakespeare, although it looks like it can be. And thus why it's called Stage Demo. It's like, hey, do they like Munchkin? And but you know, or do they like Shakespeare and you want to introduce them to it, but not just like drop it on their head. There we go. Oh yeah, it's just alternate artworks of various things like merely a player, Gilderstein, Merchant of Venison. Mm, venison. And then it's got the art and stuff. I, I, yeah, I think this is from the guy who does Least I Can Do and Looking for Group. Well, that's everything, folks. Uh, thank you for watching. Sorry about that one kind of being more uh, murky because I did a lot of small things here. Uh, but if you liked the video, feel free to press the like button. And also, if you know somebody else who might like this, feel free to press the share button, or share it. If you didn't like it, go ahead and press the dislike button, it's alright. But please leave a constructive comment as to why. Also, if you want to comment in general, feel free to, I generally try to get back to those. And also, um, if you want to see more like this, be it other unboxing videos, my Let's Plays, or my painting videos, and anything else I do on this channel, well, feel free to subscribe. Regardless, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.